So two nights ago, my girlfriend and I were walking at 10 o'clock at night. This is in Marin County. I'm in the San Francisco Bay Area, all right, which has been in lockdown since March. And we were walking on an outdoor walking path, kind of a hiking trail through the woods, actually. And we didn't see a single soul for the first 10 minutes of this walk. And then finally, one person started to approach us on the on the path, walked toward us, then walked past us. And as she walked past us, she yelled at the top of her lungs, where are your masks? Because we don't wear masks outside, never have. I refuse to. Now, I am in, I don't know if you know about the compliance rates in San Francisco and the Bay Area here, but they've been around 97%. And I can I can attest that is a, an accurate number if you walk, yes, if you walk around the streets of San Francisco or Berkeley, which is where the UC Berkeley, University of California is, and Oakland, where I live. It's virtually everyone. And most importantly, it's people driving all alone in their cars who are wearing masks. It's people who are walking all by themselves outside with masks on. And I, um, this is the third time, the third time we've been yelled at for not wearing our masks outside on the same walking path, by the way. Now, I have gotten to the point where I am actually afraid to walk outside because I refuse to wear a mask, but I also hate being shamed the way that I am. I'm feeling side eyes at best from all kinds of people as I'm walking down the street. So first of all, I want you to explain what I should say to these people and what I should think about this and what they should think about this. And then we'll get into the rest of Corona and the lockdowns, but just about masking. This is what is torturing me the most right now. It is really making life unlivable for me. Right, Todd, and I sympathize. Uh, it doesn't actually bother me if anyone challenges me because I almost like it. But everyone, mm. most people will be bothered. I agree. Yeah. Uh, so I'm asking, I would say to people that a fact that there have been four decades of science around mask and viral transmission. And the answer overwhelmingly has almost no benefit or none at all. And that's four decades of science. Uh, don't sniff at four decades of science. We've had four weeks of hastily thrown together very weak studies in June 2020, which claim masks may give a benefit. So it's four decades versus four weeks of weak studies, around three or four studies. Um, there's no competition. Mm. Uh, you cannot, you're a science denier if you flush down the toilet four decades mm. versus a few studies and the studies are biased it's quite clear mm. so that's kind of the fundamental thing i i was not anti-mask i was pro-mask when i first got involved in corona in march and april mm -hmm. i have the video podcast to prove it mm. i was highly pro-mask versus using lockdown which i knew was nonsense so i was promoting mask and taiwan videos and documentaries kind of showing masks might help i felt it was a less invasive less crazy thing than destroying your society with lockdowns. Mm -hmm. The problem is then I spent some time on it. I realized that the answer from the people above was lockdowns and masks. And then in the middle of the summer, and I had said well in advance, there will be no Corona deaths or ICU problems in the summer in Europe. Mm. By May or June, the hospitals will be empty and these guys will have to stop the lockdowns. You know what they did instead, Thad? In the middle of the summer, with nothing going on and four months away from the winter, where of course there'll be a resurgence of right. SARS-CoV-2 in the winter, it's not going to be gone till next winter. Um, they brought in mandatory masks all over Europe with fines and prison sentences. And on that day, I realized something was catastrophically wrong with the world. Because whatever about a belief that lockdowns would flatten the curve, why didn't they take them out when the curve was over in Europe? They could bring them in next winter, maybe, if they needed to. Right. They kept them. And why did they bring in masks in the middle of the summer when nothing was happening and bring them in with laws? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the most anti-scientific thing that I've probably witnessed in my lifetime. And I'm 30 years in science you know, as a, as a problem-solving leader. That's the worst thing I've seen scientifically in my career. Um, not because the masks do nothing or, or you can argue about the science, 
But to bring them in with laws in midsummer when nothing is happening, <clears throat> that means there's no exit strategy. You have brought in masks in perpetuity for your citizens with no science and with no reason to bring them in. And they did it. So you're saying four decades of science have shown that masks do not help uh, in stopping the spread of what, uh, airborne viruses, in is that it? Generally influenza, but okay. influenza is of broadly the same family as coronaviruses and the transmission characteristics, sizes, et cetera, are broadly the same. Mm -hmm. So it's perfect analogy. And the science didn't say they're absolutely no use. The science clearly said that they're of so little use that you cannot find any evidence to support them, which is good enough for me. Yeah. So, so the chances of me transmitting the virus to someone as I'm walking by them on the sidewalk without a mask on are what, what are the chances? People asked me this back in April. And I said, look, there's this Chinese study and there was no fraud in the study because it was in China's interest to exaggerate this. And we know mm -hmm. that they had Twitter accounts to fool the West into panicking. So China honestly had a study and out of 420 or maybe 320 index cases, people who actually had it, there was only one suspected case of transmission in the outdoor setting. And generally, all of the science has said that, mm -hmm. that outdoor transmission is essentially non-existent by the science. And that's with no masks. Yeah. So if it happens, it happens so little that trying to address it is meaningless. It's just meaningless. And yet Spain brought in mandatory masks outdoors everywhere but the beach in August in the hot Spanish summer when nothing was happening, you right. know, so, you know, you can say that the authorities are ignorant or do not understand the science, which is hard to believe right. given that they're the authorities, <laughs> but now we catch them almost certainly knowingly doing anti-scientific things because of how I described it. There is no defense for what I described. None. <laughs> 